great outdoors. The wilderness. Some call it God's front God's front yard. Other calls others call it the United States of America. For me, I just call this place home. Welcome to my show. For today, we're gonna be camping out in the wilderness of Southern California. Today, we're gonna be camping in the wilderness of Southern California. Hi, my name's Ethan Nestor, and we're gonna be camping in the wilderness of Southern California. Today, we're in Southern California, camping out in the wilderness. Southern California has many wildernesses, and today, we're gonna be camping in one. So today, camping in this wilderness of Southern California is me, my dog, a tent, and some supplies. Can we escape at the beginning of the next day tomorrow in the wilderness of Southern California and survive the night in the wilderness of Southern California? We're gonna find out. <laughs> I didn't know this hat could bend like this. But first, find it's time for me to make my shelter. So, first things first, we need to make a tent. I bought a tent, so we're gonna make the tent. The Southern California wilderness is known for its sloped things, sloped landscape. It's hard to find a flat place, but I think right over here, this will keep ground critters away from my tent entrance. <laughs> the tent entrance is where we'll enter the tent. And if critters can't get in there, there's no way <laughs> that they could stop me from surviving in the southern wilderness of California. Now it's time. <laughs> if you look closely, there's just shit all over the place. <laughs> we gotta be careful because that's a dangerous thing in the southern California wilderness. Right, Spencer? Sick. Step two of making the tent. But to make the actual tent. When you're a seasoned professional like myself, it's easy to get your tent up, rolling, and ready for the evening. And the, the evening, the night. We've got about two to six hours left of daylight. So we need to make quick work of the tent making. If you're like me, you won't need the directions for your tent because you've made a tent so many times in the Southern wilderness of California that you won't even need this eight step process. Is it only eight steps? Step one is we gotta put all these sticks together. Now the sticks, much like in Minecraft, can help you make your little tent. Now, they gave us a lot of Allen wrenches for this so that we can go in and we can tighten everything like your, like your dad might do if he's working on his car or maybe fixing your bike that got hit by your neighbor Tony's car because he was it didn't look both ways when he was crossing the road but thankfully you got out of there safe because you threw your bike to the side because you knew that when you were crossing the road and he was going too fast you, you were like Tony's not gonna make this I need to move myself out of the equation so he doesn't hit me but then what happened was he hit your bike and it, it fucked the front wheel and it was a bummer because it was your 12th birthday and that was the one that you wanted that year. And it was one of those cool bikes. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. We've got the first stick ready. Look, it's forming into the tent shape, into the shape of a tent. Dawson, you've never seen someone camp like this before. You've never seen expertise quite like this, right? And then this goes like this, which then goes like that. <laughs> That's sick, dude. It's a tent. And then we've got these little guys right here. These. We've got a little bit of this. Goes like this. Ooh, I almost just fucking impaled myself. Look at that. Now that is spectacular now tent time baby now as i said before southern california wilderness there's a lot of elements that are running around in the sky all right you can never really predict what said elements are going to do to you or your body so you've got to protect yourself from the element 
by using a fun little tarp. Now, this tarp that I got is bear repellent. They hate the color orange, okay? They saw the show Orange is the New Black and they said, no, I don't wanna go to jail. They're also misogynists. Every bear hates women. Now, I don't agree with the bears. I just wanna go out there and say that, okay? I think that's wrong. Oh. <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand. Is it the wrong way? It's the wrong way, isn't it? The whole thing. That's supposed to go here? It must be. It has to be, doesn't it? You're right, I'm stupid. You're right, I'm just a fucking stupid guy. Oh, uh, this makes much more sense, Joshua. Much more sense. I don't know why you told me to do it the other way. That was really silly. It's a tent, fuckers. Oh, hey, didn't hear you. <laughs> I'm just I, 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 in here in my tent that I made myself as God intended. Now, this sky is looking a little gray, which means it might be a little bit cold tonight, but that's not gonna be an issue for me because I came prepared, okay? I have blankets and a sleeping bag and food and water and half a dozen donuts. A dozen donuts, mayhaps. Now, not only that, but <laughs> I've got other things in store that I'm pretty excited about. Entertainment, games, and even a security system for later on in the night when we're not sure what's gonna be bumping on the, on the side of the uh, tent. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome to the REI haul. I'm gonna show you everything that I got at my local REI. Come a little closer, come a little closer, come on closer, come on in, get a little closer. Not that close. Thank you. First things first that we're gonna take a look at is my lights that I got from REI, all right? They're lights that I got from REI. <laughs> now let's take a... I didn't get a knife to open this. Oh, I know what I can use, I can use my spork. Now, you can often use your spork. It's a versatile tool. Now remember, when you're in the wilderness, if you have trash, you can just throw it anywhere you want. Everything's biodegradable if you believe it to be biodegradable. This is a joke. Please litter, we're killing our planet and thus killing ourselves. Okay. Ooh, it's a... Uh... Solar powered. So this, watch, watch this. Put this guy right up here. This? Come down in here. And now we've got little lights that we can string up. I know this footage is really good, but just wait a second. It'll get better in time. Much like... <laughs> Much like many things in life, sometimes you just have to wait until it gets better. Is he up in the trees? This is going to be nice. It's going to be really nice. I swear, it's going to be really nice. We just got to we just got to wait, you know. Lizzie would have loved this if she was alive. Oh, maybe I'll watch Paddington 2 in here tonight. If my Wi-Fi will reach. Why don't you just download it and then bring it over? All right, Jocelyn. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> is that you eating your boogers? <laughs> eating my boogers? Your loogies. I don't eat my boogers. <laughs> That's very convincing. <laughs> that just sound like a fucking 12 year old. Look at that! There's little lights in here, isn't it wonderful? Little lights, isn't that nice? Doesn't it look nice? Doesn't it look nice? Thank you, that's haul number one item. This is gonna take forever. Next on our list, we've got a multi-combustibles flame regulable Avec Precision Rashad. Very excited about this one, guys. This one is gonna be good. Ooh. 
This seems dangerous for me to use. We don't need the warning, it's fine. This connects to this, which is <laughs> this stuff. Put it in here and then it goes and it makes fire. It's a stove. I bought a stove, a portable stove, a camping. <laughs> a camping stove. Are you gonna use that in your tent or out here? In the tent, and I'm gonna close everything. <laughs> so the gas doesn't get out, Jocelyn. <laughs> You're not very resourceful. Look at this! It's a little pot. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? We'll make a little stew. Boil them, mash them, put them in a stew. That's what potatoes are. Potatoes. Next, we have a little something to eat dinner out of in it. And it's got this nifty little thing. So nothing gets out, nothing gets in. It's wonderful. Goes like this. You've got yourself. We don't need this because we have the spork. But look, we can put our things in here and go. Lovely. Next, we've got a little toy for Spencer. Ready, Spence? Go get it. Yay, Spencer! Oh, okay. What else do I have in here? A little treat for me. Wait, I can't show you dessert until I've shown you dinner. When you're out in the wild, sometimes you have to, well, you can't Postmates or DoorDash or Grubhub. So I had to get real food, real adventure, proudly made in Maine, where I was born. This is Cuban rice ball, two servings per, per pouch is gluten-free. A thousand calories in this pouch? 30 grams of protein? I should have been eating this when I was training. What am I doing? So I, later, when it's dinner time, I'm going to have to use my little stove. I'm gonna have to make some water, boil it on my little stove to make myself some dinner because we out here in the wilderness and we've got to eat something somewhere, somehow. And if times get tough and I am on my last legs for safety, I did buy this. If you know, you know. And then for dessert, I've got some dark chocolate cherries, which are looking pretty delicious right about now. Can I eat these? Yeah, yeah, I can. Okay. Kind of spicy. Spicy? There's like a kick, it's making my throat feel weird. It's not good. That is just about everything. The only other thing we have is of course my sleeping quarters. We've got a nifty little sleeping bag. We'll roll her out, we'll climb inside. You know, the huge, you know? Ooh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling toasty already <laughs> because it's so nice and warm. And you'll never believe this. Look at the nice feature it has. I can be just a little guy if I want to, you know? And this is probably where I'll be most of the night, just being a little guy. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, Ethan, what if Spencer wants to be a little guy? Well, don't worry, I didn't forget about Spencer being a little guy. because I got Spencer. A nice little thing right here. Oh, he's gonna love it. I'm probably just gonna line the whole thing with this fuzzy ass blanket. He loves fuzzy ass blankets. This is my new home. It's where I'm gonna be staying for the night. You know, there's grizzlies and dire wolves and cheaters and Criminals of all sorts of shapes and sizes out there in the night. I'm excited to see where we where we uh, where we go this evening. I'm I've still got a couple a couple of tricks up my sleeve. I think it's gonna be good. No, I'm excited to test my knowledge of the of the dur. That's uh, that's wilderness for short. For those of you that that aren't familiar with it, and I don't, I wouldn't expect you would be as familiar with it as I am. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling good about it, and. Uh, Help me. <laughs>
Hello, it's time for dinner. I'm not gonna do this in the tent or in the grass because that's dangerous. I'm doing this on the porch. The tone of the video has shifted dramatically. We're being safe now, okay? So we have here a little portable gas stove and we've got a little tiny thing of propane. Extremely flammable, whatever. Contents may catch fire, container may explode if heated. Cool. Inspect the canister, uh, canister for any damages. I don't see nothing, but listen to this. Kinda nice. I don't really know how to use this. Instruction manual one of two. Oh. Jesus. Okay. Oh. Uh, oh. God. Shake stove up and down. Shaker needle inside jet should rattle. It's rattling. Preheat and run stove is the next step. If performance does not improve, perform cleaning and what? Pump maintenance, valve o-ring. That's all maintenance <laughs> stuff. Just tell me how to use the stove. Okay, 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 here we go. So we need to open this. I bought the wrong fuel. It has to use the designated fuel bottle that is sold separately from the stove. So, with a little bit of help from Movie Magic, we are going to make this water boil. That. <laughs> idiot. <laughs> it's boiling now, you see it's smoking. Bam, movie magic. Okay, here we go. So, we are making gumbo tonight. All right. It smells nice. This is what it looks like. Can you see? Can you see all that off? Wow. Okay, tear this pouch open. Remove the oxygen absorber. Wonderful. Add two and three quarter cups to the bag. Stir and reseal. Hang out for 15 minutes. Jesus. Open, stir again. Smile. Okay. Cool. We have the boiling water. Do we put it in the bag? Ow, that's hot. We are going to stir. And reseal. While my food does its thing, let's go get ready for the rest of the evening, which involves setting up my little security system. So, <laughs> come on, follow me. Now, every good home needs a good security system. I've got two trail cams here that are motion activated. I'm going to put one here. Should I put one in the back? Like here? Is that good? A little further. To your right more. In here. All right. Perfect. Now I've got my security system all set up. So if any creatures, criminals come in the night, they will be spotted. So it's about that time to eat some dinner. Get all cozy. Grab, grab the boy. Get into the uh, tent there and hunker down for the evening in the insane Southern California wilderness where there is no civilization around, there's no electricity around, there's no, no nothing really. It's just me and the, me and the woods. So, I think I'm ready. I feel a little nervous. You know, it's dangerous out here, but it's gonna be good, so. Let's go eat some dinner. <laughs> Come on. Back at base camp and I'm uh, ready to eat my meal. Turn off my timer. It's canceled. Just like me in the future. This smells pretty good. It looks all right. It's fine. It's fine, it looks all right to me. Let's have a little bit of a taste here. Chicken gumbo. How many calories is this? 
660 calories. It looks like. God is good. Spencer's already going down in the tent. Did you hear that? Did you hear the wildlife? Did you hear the owl? Let's go. All right. We are out here now. The bit is over. Me and Spencer are in the tent. He doesn't really know what's going on. But now we're, uh, now we're here. I got his duck for him. He's got his sweater on to make sure that he's, uh, that he's all warm in the night. And, uh, we're here now. Now it's just kind of weird. <laughs> Cause I'm just here in my yard. It would be different if someone was here with me. Dude, I can't imagine solo backpacking. Just going and staying in the woods by yourself. That's freaky. Oh, good boy, Spinch. Good boy. It is 9.41 p.m. So I'm kind of just gonna be chilling in here for the rest of the night. But yeah, I think I'm going to uh, wind down. I brought my iPad out here. So I think I'm just gonna chill and watch a movie or something if i shit i didn't download anything i think the wi-fi reaches out here we'll find out but we're just gonna chill me and spence i don't think he's super happy about it he doesn't seem super happy about it see you bud whoa infrared light kind of cookie kind of crazy huh bubba yeah you're sick of it well me and spence are just chilling in here we heard a couple noises, a couple rapscallions jumping around in the woods. It's a couple hours later. I, I don't really have much to, to talk about, if I'm honest. You know, we're just chilling in a tent. Everything led up to this point, and now we're, now we're in it. It's kind of hot in here. Bugs keep landing on the top of the tent. They keep trying to get in, but I say, no, no, you cannot get into the, into the tent, is what I say to the bugs. And they say, what that mouth do? And I go, it does this. And then, then they leave me alone after that. It's my nipple. So. Spencer, anything you want to say? Anything? He's a little upset. Here, I'll do a push pull. Wow, that was so good. Look at the inside of my nose. Any bats up? Any bats up in that cave? <laughs> I'll be seeing you. In the morning, I guess. I don't know, call me later. <sighs> Well, gamers, it's the next morning. It's about 9 a.m. and uh, Spencer and I, uh, we did it. We survived the night. Let's see what the outdoors look like, huh? All right. Well, we've spent the night in the tent. Spencer, what did you think? What did you think, Spencer? Hmm? Did you think it was kind of fun? Did you think it was kind of fun? Oh, that's a big stretch, mister. That's a big stretch. Oh, did it happy. That's a nice stretch. Ooh. Look at the morning dove. Oh. One's about to leave. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Oh. Off. Off they go. Some morning doves made a nest in my porch. Last night was fun. It was fun hearing all the critters in the night. Um, I did manage to fall asleep. I woke up a bunch of times, um, mostly because Spencer heard something and he went, ooh, ooh. Makes me kind of want to go camping for real. I would not go camping for real um, alone because I am not an experienced camper and I think that that would be dumb. Uh, but I would go camping with other people and now I have a tent and some other stuff so maybe I'll do a real camping video. Not that this wasn't real because we all know how insane the outdoors of Southern California are um, and what a risk I put myself at out here. I guess that's about it. I mean, I'm sorry I didn't film much in the tent during the night but uh, nothing really happened. It was just me and the 
tent. It was the other stuff that was really the more interesting stuff. That's kind of it. I hope you enjoyed me tenting. It was fun for me. I hope it was fun for you. I guess now you can just watch me break down this tent. <laughs>